You know, if you own a C4 Corvette like I do, you know the clamshell hood is one of the coolest parts of the vet, without a doubt. When you open it up, it's like looking at a Formula One race car. It's awesome. But there is one drawback that could happen to you that could really put that in jeopardy. And that's where the cable goes that opens up the, the actual hood. Things can go wrong there and you may not be able to get the hood open very easily or at all. But there's a few ways you can do it and I'm going to show you one and show you one that I ended up with and very pleased with. So don't go away. It's a DYI deal here. So I'll show you in a minute. Before we take a closer look at this, I want to explain a little bit how easy this operation really is. It's very mechanical. First off, there's a cable that goes from one side to the other side that, has, that comes to the release of the hood on both sides. When you open up the hood latch, it opens up both those so the spring on the top pulls it back and makes it work really well. Pops right up and all things are good. But if that cable breaks, we got a problem. Okay, this is a very important part of the, how the latch works. As the cable comes across, it actually opens up the little unit here that releases the hood. And as you pull it back and forth, as you open it, you see how the latch opens up and releases the hood. The hood pops up with the spring that's located in it, and away it goes, nothing to it. But of course, if that cable breaks, you're in deep poopy because it won't open up and your hood is locked down. Now there's a couple ways of doing it. What I did and what I'm suggesting in my tip is, is I got a cable. As you can see this cable here is a small cable, very strong wire going around to a little handle here that I made. The last stroke, you can open this up by hand. You see how I'm doing it? I got one on both sides. It's very easy to put together and you hope you never have to use it. But if you do, it's there. So I have it on all the time. Now, the interesting part of the of the homemade one here, that part here actually goes around and inside that particular apparatus that opens it up. So when I pull on this here, it's locking on that. It's not looping over the spring here. It's looping, it's locking on the actual apparatus, which guarantees it's not going to come off when you open your hood on a normal basis and pop off. I know there's a couple on the market that will solve that problem once it gets locked down. The one thing that they have, one of them is a bar that kind of goes in, it's probably a quarter inch thick, a bar that goes in by your door, slides up underneath your hood, and you try to catch that latch, and by twisting it to open it up and make it work. Now that does work, and I have used one, but I found it an awful lot of finagling. It wasn't just uh, in there and pop it open and away you go. You had to get really patient and work with it quite a bit. The other one that was on the market is very similar to what I did here. Only difference was it was a bigger loop that went over the locking mechanism that you had. And when you use that a lot, opening your hood, it opened up and it came off. Now maybe there's a better way of doing it than what I did, but I found it to be too vulnerable. Didn't really want, because you're putting this in there not to use it. You don't want to use it. You're putting it in there for security in case that cable did break. You can still get under your hood and correct anything, the cable, replace it or whatever. So that's what it is. It's really an emergency fix. Now that's what I did. And it works out really well for me. You know what? I've never had to use it. I hope to never use it. But I do have some uh, get some insurance that don't matter what happens under the hood if that cable breaks I can get into my hood and fix it and I'll go from there So just a thought try that out if you think of it But one way or another find one way or another so you feel comfortable that you can get back under the hood If you have a cable break because that would be no fun and some of the early problems that they had before they came up with anything to solve this uh, cost a lot of money to get your hood open. So if you got a C4 that's something to consider give yourself a little insurance Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the next tip. Thanks again.